Hello and welcome to Firewall Management 201. I'm Professor Wool and today we'll be examining the challenges of managing business applications and their connectivity needs. So what am I talking about? Well, organizations often have hundreds, sometimes thousands of different business applications to serve their needs. Let's look at a very simple example of what such an application might look like. Well, imagine you have an application that serves a particular group of users and those users need to communicate with an application server and the application server has to uh, communicate to a database system uh, behind the scenes. And the application owners know this, they have a record of these communication patterns and they keep track of it using maybe an Excel spreadsheet, maybe a CMDB system, or maybe it's just in their heads. Okay, but this is a very simple picture of what is happening. The reality is more complex. There is actually a firewall in the middle here, and it separates these areas in their network into three separate zones. And this firewall has a policy in it that is managed by the network security team. And the policy might look something like this. It's a very complex policy. It has thousands of rules supporting all of these tens or hundreds of applications whose traffic crosses this particular firewall. And the network security team manages the policy rules in this firewall so that each and every application has rules supporting its communication needs. In this case we have these two blue communication patterns and we can see that there are two rules, one allowing traffic from the users group to the application server using HTTPS and then there's another rule allowing traffic from the application server over here to the database using some other service. Now imagine what happens when there is a change that is required. Imagine that there's a new version of the application that also needs to integrate with the organization's Active Directory. So there is going to be a new connectivity pattern from the application server to the Active Directory. And so from the application owner's point of view, they, need, they know that they need this. So they would record it into their Excel spreadsheet, and they would need to make a request from the network security team. They would open a change request to make this happen. But the network security team has to understand what is required and translate the request into firewall policy rules. At the end of the day, we would like to be in a situation where a new rule is injected in the right place into the policy, and it would say something like, allow traffic from the application server to the Active Directory using the correct service, let's say, in this case, LDAP. And once this is done, the new version of the application, including the red connectivity, can start to function and provide improved service to the users. But getting this done is a complex process. Just conveying the information correctly from the application owner's information systems to the network security team in a way that they can translate it into the firewall policy rules, that process can sometimes take, sometimes take days or even weeks until the two sides understand each other properly find out what exactly needs to occur and the right change is made to the firewall policy. What we would like to do is to be able to bridge the gap between these two separate teams so that with better processes and better mechanisms they can bridge the gap and streamline the process of making such changes so that it works more quickly, more efficiently, more accurately and also without introducing any unnecessary risks to the organization by mistake. And more on this in future lessons. Thank you.